Action Jackson, and this workout is going to make you feel so strong and confident in your body because we are going to chisel and tone from head to toe. It's going to be really challenging. It's all low impact circuit style. It's going to be really fun. I promise you're going to feel the burn. So you don't need any equipment at all. Smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get to the workout. So we are going to do interval style Pilates, which is super fun. I'm going to show you your first move to just kick us off. We're going to do little pulses here in the lunge. Three, two, one, lift up. Just like that, three, two, one, lift up. And then our next one is going to be standing oblique twist, just like that. So we're gonna be doing these two moves twice through, okay? So just follow along, have your right foot forward, left foot back, let's go. Little pulses, three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. There we go, pull your abs in, two, one, try to get as low as you can. So we're doing nice, slow, controlled movements here to get into your body. So I love these circuit style trainings because then you can go to your max. So you can do as many reps as you can in these intervals. Woo. One and up, keep going. Nice, we just have a little five second break and then we're gonna do our oblique twist. Then we go to lunges on the other side, let's go. Standing up tall through your body, elbows wide. This is all about you and connecting with your body. Feeling strong, feeling graceful. Right here, right now. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Connect your breath to your movement for full body connection. Second break, we're gonna go to the other side. So left foot forward, right leg back. Three pulses down, three, two, one. Leg lifts up. Now I added the leg lift in here so that you can practice your balance right here, right? You have to immediately get onto that front foot, balance your weight forward, shift forward, lift up that back leg, and then bring it back. This is amazing for balance work, preventing injuries, keeping yourself strong and mobile. Okay, a little break, oblique twist on the other side. Here we go, let's go. Coming me down onto a side plank here. We're gonna lower down onto our elbows. Here we go, meet me in the side plank. We're gonna tap the elbow down to the floor, lift up, and then lift that top leg. Let's do this. And lift. Woo, really push out of that right elbow. Make sure that you're not sinking in the shoulders. If you need a little modification, just put the knee down. Really simple, you can still do the leg lift right there. Just like that, okay? Good. Little five second break. We're gonna go into hundreds. 
So we're gonna reach our legs out, little pulses, press down, press, 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 press. Good, notice my chest is off the floor, my shoulders are rolled up off the floor. Now it's up to you how low you wanna take your legs. You can even take the legs in the tabletop, you can take them really low. The lower they go, obviously, the more difficult it becomes. So just stay at a place where you can handle. Whew. Hundreds are always so challenging. So little pulses, inhale, 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 exhale, 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 exhale. All right, left elbow down. Let's go to the other side, let's go. Make sure that your body is really nice and straight here. So you're almost tucking the pelvis underneath you, closing the ribs off so that everything is nice and straight and strong and in perfect alignment. I always like to make sure that I'm giving you those alignment cues so that you know that you're doing it correctly at home. Good. Oops, keep going, keep going. Hundreds. Here we go. So using that breath, inhaling four counts, exhaling four counts. so hard okay single leg bridge we're gonna lift and lower the top leg press through the left heel let's go so you're gonna flex down point up flex down point up good make sure that you're really tucking the shoulder blades underneath you here and if you want a little extra challenge you can bring the arms up overhead into a high plank. We're gonna take the right knee, pull it in, lower it down, lift, step it back to high plank. Good, so lower, lift, and tap. In, lower, lift. Just always being telling yourself that you are so strong, that you can do it. Always giving yourself positive, positive enthusiasm because your body listens. So if you give yourself that energy from the inside, you're gonna just feel so much more energized, so much, everything is just easier. All right, take a little breather. Let's do the bridge on the other side. Let's go.
right, let's do the high plank on the other side. Here we go. So in, roll it down to the wrist, pull it all the way up, back to high plank. So you wanna push the floor away from you as much as you possibly can, staying strong in the hands, the shoulders, biceps forward, triceps back. breaks when you need them, it's okay. All right, we're gonna do duck walks. Always a fun one. So we're going nice and low. Right here, just like this, hands behind the head. Going as low as you can, working those thighs, moving nice and slow. I know, you can do it, keep that breath going. It's really important to breathe steadily in and out through your nose. It's amazing how much you can do in just on your mat, but it's just your body weight. There's really so much strength that's available for you to build. Whew, okay, we're gonna lower down. We're gonna do a nice little L lift right here. So you're gonna lift, lower, lift, and lower. Good. So I'm in an L with my body, lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Close those ribs up, pull the abs in, lengthen through the chest and through the spine. So I think you've got the pattern now, right? We're doing this twice. So then we'll go to the other side on the next circuit. Whew. This is really about quality of movement, right? Not so much speed or things like that. Okay, back to those duck walks. Let's go. Hands behind the head. But if that's too much, you could always place the hands just in front of you. I like to bring them back because then you're really using your back muscles and improving your posture. Keep it going. Last little bit right here. Oh man. Okay, other side. The transitions are quick, so it's probably the quickest part of the workout. Everything else is nice and slow. <laughs> slow chaturanga push-ups. So we're on our knees, elbows squeeze in. Join me here. We're gonna lower down three, two, one. Press it up. Make sure that the hands are slightly turned outwards. So you're taking your hand, kind of turning them out so that your shoulders are externally rotated. Squeeze the elbows into your ribs. Three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one, and press, good.
Okay, turn around, tricep dips, fingertips face your hips, lift your hips up, and let's go. So we have a compound movement right here, if you notice, arms and arms, which is gonna really challenge you since we're doing them back to back like this. Keep those hips up as much as you can and just little micro movements. Tricep dips just to always get the arms. They're just so simple, yet so effective. I always do these on my runs because they're so easy to just get on like a park bench and just do a few of these. I love them. <sighs> okay, back to the chaturangas. Yep, <laughs> that's burning right there. But I just remind myself, okay, what are all the benefits, right? That's where your mind gets to go. Gets to go on building strength one rep at a time. This sense of accomplishment associated with your workouts with me. Good. Whew. Three, two, one. You can do it. All right, tricep dips. Just do what you can, right? You always ask yourself, can I do one more? Can I see what I'm capable of? You might surprise yourself, which is normally actually, we always surprise ourselves. Good. Woo! Just look out onto the ocean. Just imagine that you're swimming around, enjoying yourself, <laughs> feeling the nice cool breeze on your skin. Last few seconds, let's do this together. Okay. Whew. All right, so now, call me crazy, but we do all that. One more time, so you get a nice little break. You know what's happening here. Now's the time to sink in, to put in that extra work, okay? So this is where most people give up, but I know that you're not one of those people. I know that you stick to what you commit to. So we're gonna do this together, okay? We're gonna start with those lunges. I'm gonna change up a few of the exercises just to make it interesting. And let's go, this one will be the same. Lunge here, three times. Lift. I want you to focus on how graceful can you make the transitions. So thinking about transitioning from your low lunge all the way up, point the toe, lift up through the chest. How graceful can you make that transition and on the way down, making it nice and smooth. And when you do that, you start to incorporate other little muscles that you don't normally work. And rest, good. Our standing oblique twist, elbows wide, let's go. Okay, lunge on the left side. Remember to focus on those transitions. So trying to get back into the lunge, nice and smooth, and then smooth on the way up. Right here, try to reach the toe as far back as you can. Gracefully land, two, three, and 
end up. Nice work. Keep it going. Good. Standing oblique twist on the other side. Inhaling and exhaling. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. There really is no specific pattern of breath, but what I do like to always do is exhale, on the exertion. So on the most exertion right here, exhale and then inhale to release. Exhale, inhale. All right, time for our side plank. We are just moving and grooving through every single one. Lower down, lift, and up. And while you're here, I just want you to release any attachments to your workout that you might have and just let yourself go. Just let yourself be present to the here and now. Not about the future, but just be here. Oof. Okay, hundreds. Practicing that pattern of breath. Now for the little modification, of course, put the knees in tabletop. You could also do one leg at a time. Practice going out into that diagonal. Focusing on your breath, inhale four counts, exhale four counts. Or you can do the hold. Look down at your belly, try to press it in, close the ribs up, Nice flat back on the spot, on the floor. All right, and release. Let's go other side. Side plank, elbow tap to leg lift. Keep it going, try to find places in your body where you can improve your technique. Maybe push the floor away more, pull the ribs down more, connect with your breath. Nice job, hundreds, here we go. So you're either at tabletop or one leg at a time or both. Yes, you can. Keep telling yourself, yes, you can. <sighs> A little breather. Okay, we're gonna go into our single leg bridge. I'm gonna do just pulses up here on this one. Just pulsing up and up, up. If you wanna do the low, you're more than welcome to, but I'm gonna stay here, squeeze this glute. Whew. 
Tucking that pelvis under, little pulses up and up. Now make sure that the shoulders are kind of squeezing together behind you. Lower the ribs down, nice. And I want you to imagine in your mind right now that hamstring and glute coming together, contracting, sculpting, lifting, toning. Really create that focus in your mind. Look at it in your mind right now. Whew. Watch it work. Whew. All right, and come on up. Okay, now for our high plank, come to high plank. We're just gonna tap out and tap out, just like that, out and up. If you need a modification, just come on to those knees and you can actually even tap with your knees like that. I want you to stay strong. Those arms are like stone pillars. Your chest is radiating forward. Engage your quads. Okay, come on down, switch sides for your bridge right here. And we're gonna tuck the shoulders the blades together and then squeeze that booty and hamstring together. Look at that muscle in your mind right now. Imagine it contracting, lifting, toning with every rep. Creating a strong mind-body connection here. close all right and come on up okay now for our high plank come to high plank we're just gonna tap out and tap out just like that out and up if you need a modification just come on to those knees and you can actually even tap with your knees like that I want you to stay strong those arms are like stone pillars. Your chest is radiating forward. Engage your quads. <laughs> Actually over, okay. Duck walks, so let's go. We just got two circuits left. This is where you dig in. As you start to get tired, you wanna really focus on your form. Keep your breath going. Know that you can power from within with every breath. It gives you more and more energy. And this challenge here is gonna just make you stronger. That's the whole point of it. So you walk away feeling incredible, empowered, and if this is the first thing you're doing of the day, then you've already won your day. It's as easy as that. Okay. Okay, sideline. Quickly, quickly. Let's go. Last two circuits here. We're so close. Just watch that leg. Go up and down, focus on these muscles, on the outer glutes working here. And this strength here really helps to support your knees, your low back, so you're really creating so much support and structure for all your joints. Okay, duck walks. Last time we're doing this one, thankfully.
to the other side. Almost done. This is a good time to just breathe here. Nice, deep, calming breaths. Inhaling in through the nose and long exhale out. Okay, last circuit. Let's do this, okay? Let's get those guns nice and strong. I love having strong arms so I can pick anything up that I want to pick up. It's like the most empowering feeling. Okay, we've got our tricep dips. I know, we're feeling it. Woo. This is it though. Strengthen your posture here. I want you to imagine those shoulder blades coming together, lifting the heart up a little bit higher, okay? Press through the heels, lift up, and feel your body getting taller and stronger. Okay, this is it. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh man, these two back to back, pretty tough. here. Finish it out with me. Make it good. Make it count. Woo. Okay. Remember to lift your heart up. That's going to make you feel more energized. So lift your heart up proud. Feel the sun hitting your face. Just radiate all your energy out as we finish up right here. So close. Take a little stretch right there. <laughs> Make sure you stretch it and cool down. That was tough, but we did it together. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts, and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app, to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days 
After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie, and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below. Join me now. I'll see you inside. Bye.